This is how you can code a user info or a who is command for your discord.js version 14 bot. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in my slash command package or handler is we're going to go to moderation and we're just going to go ahead and create a user info.js file. If you're using a different handler, just go ahead and create a command as you would in that handler. Uh, if you would like this handler, go ahead and click the video in the description below and you can go ahead and get this for yourself. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and actually get started with the code. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define the slash command builder. So we can do const slash command builder, and then we can equals require. And here we can say at discord js slash builders, just like this. And we can come down here and we can define the embed builder. So we can do const embed builder. Then we can say equals require, and then discord.js, just like that. And we can come down here and do module.exports equals open this up. We can say data new slash command builder we can do dot set name who is we can do dot set description and here we can say this gets basic user info um, and then we can go ahead and add a comma here we can come down here and say async execute and here we can pass in our interaction just like that then we can open this one more thing that we can do is we can come up here and we can do add user option just like that we can say option arrow function option dot set name and we'll say user we can say dot set description and in here this will be the user you want to get info on just like that we can do dot set required and we're going to make this false so you can come down here and we can say const user equals interaction dot options dot get user we can pass in our user if there is no user because we set the required to false we can go ahead and add an or sign then we can say interaction dot user just like that we can say const member equals awaits interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch and then we can say user dot id just like that we can come down here and go ahead and get the icon so we can do const icon equals user dot display avatar url just like this we can go ahead and get the tag by doing const tag equals user dot tag just like that so now we're going to go ahead and actually write the embed which is what we're going to send all of this information in so we can actually go ahead and say const embed equals new embed builder just like that we can set a color first and we'll do blue we can then go ahead and set an author so we can do set author in here we can pass in a name which is going to be the tag and we can say icon url and in here we'll pass in our icon we can then come down here and do set thumbnail and this will be the icon as well we can go ahead and do add fields and we'll pass in our name and we'll say member and we can add a value so we'll do value in here we can go ahead and uh, pass in the user just like that we can then do a comma and we can say inline and this can either be true or false i'm gonna make it false all right so now we can go ahead and come down here we can say add fields just like that for our name we're gonna go ahead and pass in the roles so this is gonna be the roles that the member has within the guild so we can add a comma and we can pass in our value which is going to be the member.roles.cache.map and then we can do r arrow function r and then we can do dot join and we can add an empty string right here we can go ahead and add a comma right here we can say inline and this is going to be false as well we can come down here and do add fields and we'll pass in our name as well in here we can say joined server we can do comma value so we're going to do an arrow we're going to do t we're going to do a colon and we're going to go ahead and open this up we can do parse i and t and then in here we can do member dot joined at and then we can do slash 1000 then out here we can do another colon we can do capital r and then we can go ahead and add another arrow just like that to close it off we can come down here and do inline and this is going to be true just like that we can go ahead and then copy this field that we just created we can go ahead and paste it down here we can say joined at discord just like that we'll keep this the same but we're going to say created at just like that we can keep that the same as well and inline will be true as well so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a footer so we can do dot set footer we can pass in our text which is going to be the user id and to get that we'll just do user.id we can add a timestamp just to make it look clean and then we can go ahead and actually send this we can do await interaction dot reply we'll do embeds we'll pass in an embed just like that we can add a semicolon and with that we are done with the who is or user info command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out one more thing uh i did forget this so in here we're actually going to change member to user uh, just make sure you do that uh, and then it will actually work over in our discord server if we run the who is command uh, we can either add a option which is going to be a selected user or we can just send it so for now i'm just going to go ahead and send it and as you can see it's going to go ahead and send and it's going to say me uh, my tag it's going to give me the uh, icon url which is going to be animated as you can see here 
um, it's going to say the member, which is me. By clicking this, you can get my profile. It's going to go ahead and say my roles, which are verified and everyone, because everyone has the everyone role. It's going to go ahead and say join server, and it's going to say seven months ago. If I hover over it, it's going to say Saturday, May 21st, 2022 at 1138 AM. So that's when I joined the server. If we go ahead and go to the join discord, we hover over this. That's going to say the date and time as well. So now we can go ahead and actually pass in a user. So you can do who is, and we can just go ahead and get um sq for example and as you can see it's going to go ahead and say the roles which is by the way before i came up with the name sq this is the uh name of the pot when i was first developing it um but it's going to give the roles it's going to give me the profile it's going to give me all of that stuff and it's going to say when it was created and when it joined the server so next we can try to get this of a person with more roles for example we can just pass in this person it's going to say all the roles he has and all of that stuff so that works perfectly fine it does also get the user id by the way at the bottom now i just removed all my roles if we do who is again and we just use me it's going to go ahead and just say i have everyone so that means i do not have any other roles than just the i everyone rule so that's how you can code a who is command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help go ahead and join the discord coding lounge in the description below and we'll be able to help you out with your coding problems um and yeah with that i'll see you guys in the next video